over Miami. Coral Gables is right over there, straight out where the University of Miami is. Great pool over at that hotel. I'm actually not looking at downtown Miami. Downtown Miami is behind me. But there is Marlins Park. That is where the Orange Bowl used to be and that is where I'm headed today. What's up guys, for those who know and who may recognize this spot, I am at the site of the old Orange Bowl Stadium, now renamed Lone Depot Park. If that's not uh, depressing enough for you, it was at least Marlin Stadium when it reopened, named after the team. It's now named after a uh, online loan company, so I guess that's kind of where we're at. Uh, this is the site of one of college football's most mystical and magical home field advantages. The Miami Hurricanes played here for decades and famously went on a 58-game home winning streak. It lasted nine years from 1985 to 1994 when the Washington Huskies came in here and upset the Canes and ended the streak. But multiple national titles were won and it was a frightening place for oppositional teams to come play. So what we have here and what we see remaining are some of the letters from the old facade of the Orange Bowl. Famously, that facade said the city of Miami welcomes you to the Orange Bowl. It was part of its uh, unique touch and part of what made it such a wonderful stadium. And they've tried to pay a small tribute to that, at least here with these, this sort of public art display. So this stadium opened in 1937. The first Orange Bowl was played uh, later that year, you could say 1937-38, and it was built for the purpose of attracting a holiday season game like the Rose Bowl out in Pasadena. The, Ro the Orange Bowl took that model, made it their own. It was called Burdine Stadium after Roddy Burdine, who was a business magnate, had a chain of department stores, and he basically paid for it to be built. Uh, 22 years later, 1959, it would be renamed the Orange Bowl after the, the game, the Orange Bowl Classic, and the citrus fruit that's so important to this state. And it was a wonderful example of place and heritage in American sports, and particularly college football, because the famous occupants, the Miami Hurricanes, of course, are named after a uh, frequent national or, or, or a meteorological weather event in this area, the Hurricanes. So we had the Hurricanes playing at the Orange Bowl. It's part of that tie to American heritage and culture that college football at its best has in spades. So I'm here looking at the sort of monstrous new incarnation of the Orange Bowl. It's, it's, a, it's a fine looking modern stadium, stucco steel glass, uh, built by a you know, billionaire art collector. And it, it's, um, it's okay, but it's no Orange Bowl. So out over my shoulder to the right is downtown Miami, which famously, if you took a blimp shot of the Orange Bowl, you could always see downtown Miami from the stadium. It's in a neighborhood called Little Havana, uh, which is a traditionally Cuban neighborhood. And interestingly, the 1980 Muriel boat lift, when Fidel Castro set thousands of Cubans, prisoners, uh, people in insane asylum, dissidents, etc., to the United States, the remake of the movie Scarface. Uh, used that event to tell its story. The Orange Bowl was a place where many of those boat lift people came in and lived for a short amount of time. The Orange Bowl was used for baseball, was used for many things. Presidents John F. Kennedy came to the game here. Many others did as well. It hosted five Super Bowls. It was really a critical piece of American heritage and it's, it's sad that it was torn down. The Hurricanes had a, a renovation plan here and that renovation plan just did not work out. They moved north to the Dolphins' very generic professional ballpark. It's now called Hard Rock Cafe Stadium. Um, it's had various names over the years. It at least used to be Joe Robbie Stadium, which was named after the Dolphins' owner and gave it a human touch. But now we're back to naming everything after um, corporate entities. So this is Lone Depot Park. They play in Hard Rock Cafe Stadium. And that's just how it is, but it's not a college football tour uh, without stopping at the Orange Bowl and talking a little bit about what this stadium 
meant to the game, meant to the Miami Hurricanes and, and Coral Gables, which is nearby, and uh, about what we lost with it. So this is Fifth Down College Football. Glad to bring you guys here. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter at the site, fifthdowncfb.com. We're writing a book on this sport in American history and culture. You guys are going to love it. And this has been the Orange Bowl stop. So we've been here for a while. I got some video to share with you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Next stop, we're heading north to Gainesville to check out the Gators. All right, guys, take care. Peace.